Hello, and welcome once again to Take It Light Crash Course. Today, we're actually going to get started digging out the area for the factory. As you can see, I've expanded my uh, storage array a bit. Um, I didn't really have room for all the things that were already in my chests. In fact, I had to use some of my chests for some of the tools and some things that wouldn't fit. Why is there a spider in here? Also, I expanded my crafting area a bit because, well, I wanted to. Uh, I needed to make a uh, solar array to power my little system here. It's got my battery capacity too. All this is going to be going into the factory, of course. I'm going to be moving it later on. But yeah, as you can see, with the crafting pipes, you can, in fact, send them into machinery to give you specific items. Like, yeah, let me grab my wrench. I'll show you some of the stuff I've done. I mean, you don't need to leave anything in the machine like you do the... Whoops. You don't have to leave anything in the machine like you do the crafting tables. All you have to do is set the machine up and then put the recipe in here. Like, for example, for with this furnace, I have the wrong wrench. Whoops. All right. With this furnace, basically I have it making glass. Glass I need for solar panels, of course. I can also request glass directly from it. It'll just send sand that I've collected in and spit out some glass for me. Kind of cool. For this furnace, I have making refined iron, which is used in a lot of different recipes. Ow. Jerk. Uh, let me squish this guy. Hang on. Oi. Okay, uh, let me fix this thing that I tore, tore apart here. So on. And then we'll go ahead and get to work. Put you back there. And this guy I have making uh, charcoal for me. Because sometimes, I mean, you just need some charcoal. I'm making torches or need to fire up my generators here because my solar ray isn't doing enough. But it should be alright for a while because, like I said, I got more batteries. Not quite charged fully yet, but they're there. Alright, so weren't there overclocker upgrades in that? Or did I pick up already? Yeah, I did. Plus these guys in here. Alright. Now we're getting to work, for reals. Today we're going to be talking about the quarry. A quarry is basically a device which, when powered, digs really big holes. I mean, really big holes. I mean, just once we get to the top of this, I'll show you how big of a hole it can dig, because this is literally as big as it can go. And not only will it dig really big holes, it will dig really big holes really deep and give you everything that's in that hole. So it's not like the uh, filler in its clear mode where it just destroys everything. No, 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 no. This gives you everything that's down below. Because, you know, if I look at my dine map, there are a bunch of holes punched in the world from my friends making quarries to get stuff. I'm going to be doing that too, except I'm going to be covering up my holes because I am a responsible quarrier. So, what we're going to do. Gonna make the quarry. Gonna have this dig down. Now, the reason why this is so ridiculously tall, because I want a really big factory. And this is a 64 by 64 square. That's 64 blocks away. That's 64 blocks away. So this whole thing will dig the entire mountain, as well as part of the fence here, because we don't really need that fence anymore once the factory is built. But for now, if I click you. Whoop. Seems to be broken. Hang on. This is also a good time to point out a uh, slight limitation of the electric jetpack. I can only fly this high. I literally cannot fly higher. I have my finger on the button. I'm in. I'm not in hover mode anymore. So we'll actually be making a new jetpack, which can fly that high. So let's see. That one connected. That one's connected. Why is not connecting? Ugh. Hang on, folks. Okay, so now we have them connected. We're going to go ahead and make a quarry. Let's look up how to make one. Quarry. So I need iron gears, I need gold gears, I need diamond gears. It's a good thing I went mining off camera to get some of this stuff. I got some diamonds and redstone sticks. 
So let's order up those uh, gears. It'll take a moment to get here. Let's see, gear. What is it? Three iron. Two gold. And two diamond. I seven have two diamond in storage, which is awesome. All right, so I need to grab my regular diamonds. And some sticks. Now, at the moment, um, my uh, delivery system is not quite complete. I do need a place for leftover products to go. I don't have that at the moment, so if there's anything left over, it just goes straight into the air. Just gets kicked out of the whole system and eventually disappears, wasting my uh, my items. So, I'm going to have to fix that eventually. Maybe not this episode, probably next. So, I'm just going to request four sticks, you know, full complement of sticky goodness. So, we got sticks, we got diamonds, gears. Oh, I need some redstone too. So, fire up our pocket crafting table. Mod synergy. Oh, something I didn't explain before. Um, the hotkeys for the pocket crafting table x basically anything that's laying around in here you hit x it clears it as much as your inventory as it can fill uh c i'm not really sure what c does c c oh c distributes your items so if you have like you know trying to make dirt slabs for some bizarre reason lay it out like that you hit c and nothing yeah, interesting happens okay so we're going to ignore that one i'm not really sure what that's for B, I believe, rotates it. Ro rotates it. No, does not rotate it. Is that what this is for? Ah, okay. B is distribute. Um, I guess C is supposed to be rotate, but it doesn't seem to be working. So yeah, if you just uh, if you're making planks, you have a big stack. You just make your recipe, put whatever's left. Hit B, and spreads it out for you. So you get as many planks as you can as quickly as possible. Hopefully, uh, Tech at Light will be updating to 1.5 soon, so that we can just paint our recipes out like you can in 1.5, which is cool. Uh, oh, don't want to do that yet. I want to first make my diamond pick. So, diamond pick. Then I can lay these out. Gear, gear. Gear, gear, gear. As you can see, this is, like I said, pretty expensive. This is why I made those automatic gear crafting tables. Because gears are a pain in my neck. Where's my redstone? Here's my redstone. There we go. One quarry. Now, the quarry is also going to need power, so we'll go ahead and order up my sterling engine. Probably some coal as well, because I forgot to bring a bucket of lava with me. I've got a lever up here I can use. Yeah, no lava buckets. So we're gonna grab some coal. Regular coal, cause charcoal will take a while to make. I want to get this uh, this going. And I got plenty of it. So I'm gonna just grab this guy. Hopefully, not break the block block under it. There we go. All right. So the core, just like other buildcraft machines, you take it, you plonk it. And it makes a frame. Now, see, this frame only goes up to 5 high because it only needs to go up to 5 high. It will actually clear out all of this space in here. So if you build this on the surface or build it next to a mountain, it'll just destroy everything that's in here like a filler, clearing the area out. Um, and then once that's done, it'll start digging down, and then it'll start giving you stuff. So I'm actually going to need to create a retrieval system as well. I'll grab my Sterling engine in the meantime. Sterling... I'm going to come up here and fuel this up later. Now, rest of the engines are not powerful enough to power this. That's why I'm not using them. You would need, like, 80 of the things on wood pipes and conduction. And, yeah, I don't have time for that. Fire that bad boy up. This will go. Now, since we're so high up, this probably won't actually do a whole lot up here, except maybe get rid of these scaffolds. See, there, there's the, uh, the delete bug. Try to get closer look. What he's doing right now is actually building a physical frame around the quarry. 
And this physical frame can actually be destroyed and carried away. Now you can't really do anything with the item, with the blocks, except toss them in a recycler. So this will actually sit around once it's done. Actually give me a point of reference for possibly building these scaffolds back up because I think these might be destroyed as it goes along. But regardless, yeah, that's a quarry. It's going to be doing its thing. Let me get a uh, chest and a pipe up here so that the items that it does gather go straight into my inventory system. Let's see, what I need, what I need, what I need. I need transport pipe. I need an ender chest. I think this one's already coded properly. Let's see, ender chest. Cobblestone pipe. Now this is another one of these machines that you do not need a wooden pipe on to get items out of it. It'll likely just spit them out. Yes, yeah, so this is our dump ender chest. Oh, 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 nuts. Okay. Now one slight limitation of these uh, scaffolds, you can't hold shift and like hold on to them. There we go, that'll do. So yeah, any items that it gets out of the ground are going to go straight into my sorting chest, and the sorting chest will send it to the sorting system, the sorting system will sort it. How many times can you use the word sort? So while that is doing its thing, we're going to go make ourselves a regular jetpack. Now, regular jetpack, it is fairly inconvenient in the way you have to fuel it. There used to be an item called a jetpack fueler you could just apply, like, refined oil to, or fuel, obviously. Um, that's no longer in the game for some reason. So what you need to do is you actually need to use the canning machine, of all things, to get that in there. First, let's go make our jetpack. As you, I have successfully moved out of the workshop now. I don't really do anything in there. This stuff's just for decoration at the moment. I'll probably move it so that I have my uh, backup energy source again, or just wait till the factory's built, put it all up on the roof, because that'll look cool. All right, so I got my recycler there. What am I doing? What am I doing? I know I need iron. Let's look that up. Jetpack. Jet, jet, jitter. So I need an empty fuel can. I need some refined iron. I need a circuit and some redstone. And the empty fuel can. I actually don't know how to make it. Better look that up. I need tin. So I'm gonna need me ordering unit. 710. Gonna need a circuit. Yes, I can only make them make circuits because I'm awesome. I'm gonna need some refined iron. Is it raining again? Or is that just the that's just machines running? Never mind. What was the last thing I needed? I think it was a redstone. Yeah, redstone. So you can see, it's materials-wise a bit less expensive than the uh, electric jetpack, but it's it's just so much less convenient. I'm only showing you this because it fits. So is my tin ready? Yes, it is. Go back to the crafting table. Portable crafting table. I hate when it does that. Now, these fuel cans can also be filled with uh, various fuel devices. That That's also done in the canning machine. Let's see. And what you're going to be using to fuel this thing are coal fuel cells and biofuel cells. Show the coal fuel cells. Coal fuel cells. If I can find them. Here we go. Coal fuel cell. I actually use the hydrated coal dust. I showed you before, basically just toss that in the compressor makes H coal. So we're gonna summon up some hydrated coal if I have any left. I do not. Do I have any cells? I have cells. I'm gonna grab some cells. I 
As you guys don't have recipes for everything yet, because I don't really need them. So I'm going to grab my cells. I'm going to make some hydrated coal dust, and I shall return. I'm going to go ahead and make our hydrated coal dust here. There we go. I'm going to toss it in our compressor. Right now. I'm going to wait a little while until this becomes H coal dust. All right, so we have our H coal, and we have our cells. Basically, to make them, all you do is put them together, get H coal cells. Simple enough. I do stack, which is nice. Just toss those aside for a moment because they're making biofuel after this. I'm going to go ahead and throw our jetpack together so these materials stop taking up space. Get our jetpack. As you see, is completely empty at the moment. What you do is you take them, you take your food out of the canning machine. Put your fuel on top, put the jetpack in the bottom, and nothing happens. What am I missing? Oh, that's right. I need to make them coal fuel cells. I have to put them in an extractor next. Do I have an extractor here? Should. Somewhere. Here we go. I'm going to toss these in the extractor. As you can see, they will extract into coal fuel cells, which then you can put in to the canning machine with the thingamabob to do the whatchamajigget. Now we're going to wait for these. All right, now we have our coal fuel cells. Now we're going to take them to the canning machine. Up there. You go there. You go there. And now it works. So yeah, after a while, this uh, canning machine will actually take each of these cells and stuff them into the jetpack. Next is actually taking them as we're uh, as we're waiting here. So we'll uh, give that a moment as I drink some coffee. Mmm, delicious. So yeah, six of these coal fuel cells will mostly fill a jetpack. That'll be enough for now. Uh, we'll also make some uh, some biofuel cells real quick here. Let me. Do I have any grass in this machine? No. Uh, what can you make bio biofuel thing with bobs out of? I need a plant ball to start. Plant balls are balls of plants. So I need wheat. I need sugar cane. Seeds. So basically all this plant material you may have laying around, you can actually use now, which is handy. Yeah, so you can use like shrubs, grass, ferns, even rubber trees. You just can't mix them. Apparently rubber trees are going to make one or two, which is unusual. Regardless, we're going to take some of these out, uh, oak leaves out of here since we uh, don't really need them. So, once these come out, clear space, just wrap them around like so. Plant ball. You take your plant ball, you toss it in the compressor, just like the hydrated coal, and you wait. And it'll pop out some compressed plants. Compressed plants, I'm probably going to need to make some more of, but for demonstration purposes, basically, you uh, Put compressed plants in with a cell, you get a bio cell. The bio cell you then toss into your extractor. And after some time, it'll turn it into a biofuel cell. The biofuel cell, like the coal fuel cell, is used to fill your jetpack. You can also use them to fill the can the tin cans themselves. Uh, can I just toss that in there? Yes, I can. See, so, yeah, that'll uh, that'll do its thing. That'll go away. I'll just take that back out. So I might have wasted the waste of the thing, but what am I gonna do? It's a demonstration. But yeah, if you had like eight of those, it would take them and then fill the jetpack, just like the uh, coal fuel cells did. So let's take this bad boy for a spin. What do you say? Check on our uh, our Sterling engine. Throw some lava buckets in there. I grabbed while I was uh, putzing around. Whoa! I see this guy is a. Uh, it's a good deal faster and more powerful than the uh, the electric. I'm a good deal hungrier. Looks like he's nearly done the frame at the very least. Oh, no, it's mining. Let's head up top take a look. Whee! 
as things fast. So, as he, good way to get high very quickly. Does also have hover mode. Let's take a look. So, our frame is complete. And this little uh, mining arm here is just going down and blasting each block under it with a laser. It's going to go down layer by layer. It's going to take the items and, like I said, just drop them in a thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill the enemies. It just kind of rolls over them. You can see it's sort of destroying each block, and each block is taken up. And the hover mode on this doesn't work like the electric. It just kind of slows you down. Get away from these creepers. Yeah, it'll take each block and it'll spit it out up here at the quarry machine. This is actually something of a source of lag before. One of my friends had actually uh, set up a bunch of quarries but wasn't properly managing the blocks coming out of it. He was actually just dumping them down into a hole in the earth and not into lava. So they were actually, the server was trying to keep track of all of those blocks at once. And that's not something a server can do simply and successfully. So you want to make sure you manage your blocks, either by sending them into a sorting system or into recyclers, which you know he did with his dirt and cobble. That's what I'm doing with my dirt as well, because dirt's useless to me, but cobble I've had a lot of uses for lately. So we're going to be keeping a hold of that. And this, uh, this basalt cobble I'm definitely keeping. So yeah, everything just goes right into there, gets taken away, and into my sorting system. Cool stuff. I'm going to take this coal out of here. I'm going to replace it with a lava bucket. Because lava buckets, A, last longer, and B, don't harm the environment as much. I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. Toss our coal back in there. Let it thing. So yeah, that's a quarry. We've made ourselves a fast way to get back up to it. You can see how crazy systematic this thing is. Probably next episode, this will be a massive, massive hole. Unless I start the next episode right after this one. I don't know yet. Oh, and another thing about the quarry, it will uh, it will stop if it hits lava. So a fun thing that you can do is actually place a water source down there, and it'll actually fill out as water does in Minecraft. And as it goes down, it'll cool the lava, and then it'll mine up the obsidian, which is something that you may want. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down, I'm going to grab another bucket, I'm going to make it a water bucket, I'm going to put it on top there so it'll just become like a mountain of water. And then, once it's down into the quarry itself, it won't have any lava troubles. Cool stuff. It also mines straight through water, so if it does come across any water blocks, they'll just sort of hover in space and fill the area. Which can be handy. It may not be. I don't know. Depends on how you feel. So I'm going to quest up another bucket. Gonna hop back down here. You see how quickly he's burning through fuel, too. That's just from flying up here and back. The extra jetpack, again, it didn't reach this height, but it also didn't burn through it as quickly. So I'm gonna stick to the electric. I'm just gonna file this guy away. It's a fair demonstration, but I don't like it. it it's just, it's so wasteful. And I'll find another use for those, uh, those bio balls and biofuel cells. I'll probably fill them fill cans with it. They can be used to power furnaces. I think they can be used to power generators, too. I'll do a little bit of experimentation and let you all know. But until then, that's an episode. Night, everybody.